Hey, we've had some break-ins in my neighborhood, and there's a real suspicious guy. February 26th, 2012, at exactly 7.09 and 34 seconds. George Zimmerman calls Sanford Police's non-emergency line. He later told police he made the call just outside his subdivision's clubhouse. Something's wrong with him. Yeah, he's coming to check me out. About two minutes into the call, 7, 11, and 48 seconds, he says the suspicious person is getting away. He's running. He's running. Then the dispatcher says, Are you following him? Yeah. We don't need you to do that. It ends with Zimmerman telling police to call him when they get there. I'll let them know to call you when they're in the area. Thanks. You're welcome. That's about 7.13 and 43 seconds. The first witness to call 911, about 2 minutes, 28 seconds later, at 7.16 and 11 seconds. So you think he's yelling help? Yes. And on that same 911 call, All right, what is your... the gunshot. 7.13 and 43 seconds to 7.16 and 11 seconds. More than two minutes. And what happened in those two minutes is crucial in this murder trial. Zimmerman told police. I was walking back to my truck, and then when I got to right about here, he yelled from behind me, beside me. He said, yo, you got a problem? And I turned around, and I said, no, I don't have a problem, man. In the police reenactment, one thing that George Zimmerman says is that on his way back to the car, he said he never got there. That it was at that point that Trayvon Martin approached him and then attacked him. And it was right around the area of this T intersection is where he said he was confronted. But if he wanted to walk all the way to his car, taking a look at how long that would take. And again, houses on both sides here. These are the backs of houses on Retreat View Circle. And this was the street that George Zimmerman didn't know the name of, so he couldn't give an address because he could see numbers, but he didn't know what street he was on. And again, I'm walking back uh, to the car, slow pace, not fast. And I'm gonna make it in just about a minute, just under a minute. I asked Zimmerman's neighbor, Frank Taffy. It's over two minutes between that point and when the confrontation begins. That's because he was still looking when he got down here. From so he wasn't here. going straight to his car. What about Trayvon Martin? He was staying at this home where his father lived towards the end of that same sidewalk. Now from here to where Trayvon is staying, how far down? 110 yards from the spot. 110. 110. I've crawled it, walked it. Here's the thing. Trayvon Martin's not far from the house he's staying at, and George Zimmerman's not far from his car. Yet neither one goes to those two spots. They end up back there.